Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And in this final video, I want to clear up a matter uh, between uh, me, or rather between Professor Michalis Lamvru and myself. Um, I think he falsely accused me of bullying and harassing him. And two of my videos were subse subsequently taken off. These two videos here were taken or removed because of that reason. So what I'd like to do now is show you uh, how this all started. So I was exasperated and uh, I went to this Greek forum and I typed in a comment here. And this comment here is basically explained in my LinkedIn article, which you see the URL up here. And I explain everything in great detail so you can read it and see why um, your derivative is flawed in the mainstream calculus okay so i give you every reason and also i explain why uh, it is not valid so now let me let me start by showing you what's happening here so what i said was is that this expression here the red expression is actually simply the sum of these two slopes okay so this expression here, which is the slope of the secant line, is the sum of this slope and the difference in the slopes, okay? In other words, uh, what's happening here is that to get this tangent line slope, you have to take the slope of the secant line and subtract the difference in order to get the derivative okay so it doesn't matter where you are so now the red line slope is 5.36 and and the uh, difference is 2.36241 and of course if you subtract the two you get the slope of the tangent line right so the slope of the tangent line is three and it doesn't matter where i am i mean i can move it anywhere along there the same thing applies okay so um, this is what I pointed out to mainstream academics, but they don't seem to understand. And this here has to be zero in order for this uh, for you to obtain the for, to obtain the actual value of the derivative. Because if this side here has to be the value of the derivative, this point has to coincide with this point here. See, all right, right on there. It has to coincide with that point. And if it doesn't, uh, then this isn't the derivative. So this here has to go to zero in order for you to find for you to find the uh, derivative. So now I uh, I just want to put the grid back on and put that on one like so. Take the grid away, and what I'm showing you now here is in order to get three, this point here. Watch this value here. It has to get smaller as this, the difference between this red slope and the green slope. Uh, becomes smaller see so and, and what is really happening here is that it will only see it'll only get to the derivative at that point so your calculus is your mainstream calculus is really broken beyond repair because this has to be zero in order to arrive at the derivative now this equation here is true okay because q of xh is an expression and this is the expression of q of xh. It's simply the terms with h in them after you simplify the first principles method. Okay, so this here is obtained from the first principles method. You simplify it and you take all the terms in x and h or just in h are the uh, q of xh expression. Okay, so all the terms that have an h in them are part of q of x h and then you can write that expression down as i've done here and you see what happens as h which is this distance here becomes smaller than this here which is the difference between the slopes between the the red slope and the green slope becomes closer to zero and eventually <laughs> at the point of tangency it's not even defined right can you see that if i go there i mean let me just try and get it back onto three. All right. So over there, what is uh, Q of H? It can't even be defined. And, and this here is not defined either. See, the red, the red 
uh, secant line slope, all right? So, you know, in, in the new calculus, this has all been sorted out because the new calculus is the first and only rigorous formulation. If you go to this article here, you'll see why everything you've learned in mainstream mathematics, including the, this nonsense, uh, which is a, a propositional logic, uh, is circular and you do not have any valid systematic way of finding the derivative. And this ubiquitous nonsense that you see in front of you here is wrong and has always been wrong and calculus has never, your mainstream calculus has never been rigorous. Okay, so the proof is here and those who uh, want to listen Study this with an open mind and see that what I'm telling you is indeed correct. I am correct and all the morons who came before me are fools. They don't understand. They do not have my knowledge. They were never able to formulate a new calculus. Okay? So in the new calculus, the slope between a parallel secant line and the derivative is always zero. It doesn't matter where you are. See? Okay? No problem. It's always zero, and the derivative is always three. It's always correct. Unlike your bogus calculus, where this expression here uh, is never the derivative unless q of x h is zero. Okay, that's the only time, and it's not even defined at that point there, right? So the new calculus solves all these problems, and the new calculus has an auxiliary equation where the difference here must be zero because. The difference in the slopes of these parallel lines is zero, okay? So there's nothing to it. It's very simple. Now, you can put in any function you like here. You can put in x squared like that. And the same story applies. It doesn't matter. This here works irregardless of the curve, okay? It doesn't matter where you are. It's irregardless of the curve. So if we come back here again, you'll see the same story. Q of x, h is just simply the length h in this case, okay? So... Uh, this here doesn't apply, by the way, this this part here. It's part of the x cubed function, okay? So, but this here is, is true. So if you do this here, you eventually get to this position here. And of course, over there, it's no longer defined because the red secant line, this red secant line degenerates to a point, okay? Garbage, right? Now, I hope that you have learned something from this video and that you will think carefully about what I said. And if you want to see how they treated me on this site, you can simply click on this uh, translate button and translate so that you can read the Greek. And you'll see that uh, uh, they were very aggressive from the start, you know. So this guy says, wherever you found this, it is completely wrong. Actually, it is completely right, as I've just shown you, okay? So the guy is obviously an idiot, and he says this is not circular, and it's a correct definition. And if you read my article, you'll see that that is also wrong because it is circular, and it's not a definition of any kind. It's a very definition. So, um, so, so for for pointing out these mistakes, and there are lots of other uh, uh, insults hurled at me in this um, in this uh, forum. Uh, so, so what I'm saying is that the mainstream doesn't care about the truth. It's they care more about being outed for their ignorance and stupidity and incompetence. And what a mainstream academic hates most is to be corrected and shown that what they believe to be true is actually completely false. Well, I am going to end here. This is the new calculus channel. I'm John Gabriel, and probably my final video. Goodbye.